Welcome to Arkin 3D Architect software. In this first tutorial, we will be learning how to use the interface and understanding the differences between the construction mode and the design mode. To begin, we will start a new project either by clicking the new project icon, or by selecting file from the top menu, and choosing new. This will open the floor properties dialog where you can enter your initial settings. These can be changed later if required. Firstly, we need to choose the name of the floor to work on, either from the drop-down list or type your own. Once you have selected the name of the floor, you can set the floor to floor height. Refer to the manual for an explanation of floor to floor height. When this is correct, press OK to enter the project workspace. Your projects will open to the chosen default settings. This will generally default to a project on a scale of 1 to 100 on A4 landscape paper. You will also notice that by default the grid is turned on which can be seen by the dots displaying on the page. At the top of the screen is a standard Windows menu where you can access many settings and options. To change the settings of our project we will navigate to File and select Project Options. In the dialog box that opens we can set the paper size, the project scale and the measurement units we wish to use for this project. The project scale and the paper format can be selected from the preset options or you can define your own. Measurement units are available in both metric and imperial units. All of these options can be amended at any time as your project evolves. When you have selected the correct options for your project, click OK to apply them. The screen you are now looking at is the standard tool set in what is referred to as construction mode. Directly underneath the standard menu bar you will find the horizontal icon toolbar. This contains mainly icons which relate to how you are currently manipulating your projects or toggling certain display settings on and off. On the left of the screen you will find the icons for the construction tools. Each tool is used for a specific purpose and hovering your mouse over the icon will show the available modules for that tool. You will notice that as you move your mouse from one tool to the next, the flyout menu for each tool shows you all of the available choices for that tool. For example the selection of doors or stair types available or the type of vertical support you wish to use. To use a tool you must first left click the icon to select it. You will then notice that the inside left toolbar changes from plain grey to a selection of icons. The options displayed here are context sensitive and relate to the parent tool selected on the left. Further customization options are available by right clicking on the icon in the toolbar. Options for any tool can be accessed by right clicking the icon. Using this method will apply the settings for any use of that tool after you set it up. The alternative is to place the object you require, a wall for example, and then double click on the object to open the same options box to change the settings after it is placed. Within 3D Architect, everything that you draw in 2D in the construction mode is automatically replicated as a 3D model. You can view the 3D model at any time simply by pressing F12 on your keyboard to toggle into design mode or by using the display mode toggle button on the horizontal toolbar. Once in the 3D view, you can rotate your model by using the cursor keys on your keyboard, or by using the viewer control icon on the horizontal toolbar. Pressing F12 or using the display toggle button will return you to construction mode.